Yo, what's going on? Uh, today we got Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. New Easter eggs hidden in a official poster. I haven't really been seeing any new posters for the movie because I don't even know where you would look. Like, where do you find those in? I'm assuming somebody's account is posting them. But um, yeah, uh, he's about to explain to us some something new. Hopefully, something something crazy. Welcome back to New Rockstars. I'm Eric something Voss in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. This week, along with a new trailer and tickets now on sale, at least for the faster trigger fingers on AMC's app, dropped. Five new official posters, each of them Damn. beautifully designed and filled with interesting details and Easter eggs. I'm gonna break down all five of these posters because analyzing all this movie's marketing is the reason Mephisto put me on this earth and because I, I love you. Okay, the five new posters include the theatrical poster, the IMAX poster, the Dolby poster, the real 3D poster, and the Screen X poster. Let's start with the theatrical poster. The this poster uses X. the same broken glass aesthetic from the poster that came out in February, both harking back to the broken glass motif from what? if the way the watcher of that series depicted the barriers between realities in the multiverse. The main characters are all arranged in a circle, strange in the 12 o'clock position, doing the same go long horns hand sign that Chris Hemsworth is doing in Thor Love and Thunder, we're finally promoting this movie post. It's all connected. But beneath Strange's hand is Wong, then Gargantos, then Wanda with her head directly beneath the eye of Agamotto, then America Chavez and a star portal hovering right over Strange's palm in the lower corner of that poster, Pamer Tai and a red tinted filter casting it as the battle site of this film. Then variant Dr. Christine Palmer in her Illuminati lab coat and then Mordo Supreme. Now interesting to note, this poster lists Michael Stuhlbarg in the top billing who plays Dr. Nicodemus West in the 2016 film and in this movie, who so far has only shown up in promo footage at Christine Palmer's wedding. Now Dr. West has a really big role in the amazing comic storyline, The Oath, and might have an expanded role in this movie, but also the exact order and listing of the film billing is something negotiated in actor's contract tracks depending on how pushy their agents are. Now, if you've been watching these videos for a while, you know a big part of my job is trying to translate other text or symbols that are on screen. Right, Something I right. always try to do in my real life with real world languages and a life's mission that I've been able to work towards thanks to help from our video sponsor today, Babbel. Babbel is the number one language learning app in the world. I live in California oh, where a lot of people speak a lot of non-English languages. And I'm jealous tell us about some text on the poster that Is that a word? I should Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Before we continue on with the rest of this video, um, I just want to say that over on my gaming channel, I went back with my friend Jason and we did a tag team tower duel or fight. I don't know what you call it on Mortal Kombat 11. And it was one of the funniest videos I ever made. Uh, here is a little snippet. The fact that he does the amount of I heal you of is just what the fuck? Yo, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Nah, 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 uh, nah, 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 nah. I'm what? Lightheaded. <laughs> Uppercut him. <laughs> what the? Woo! <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that like i was i was going wild bro i'm not gonna lie it was one of the it was some of the most fun i've had on a game in a while a lot of these games have just been like progressing not really taking the time to actually have fun it just all kind of feels like uh you know there's always an objective and like some kind of end game like that you're trying to reach you know goal but there when we were playing we were just trying to have fun so it ended up being a lot of fun. The video is actually like top three, one of the funniest videos I made on my channel. So if you are interested, feel free to go over and check it out. And uh, yeah, we can continue on with the video. Also, as before, those broken shards all contain other variants will be seen throughout the movie. To the right of Strange's head is a variant with a thicker goatee, which might be Sinister Strange, who now in the trailer is a third eye. To his right is Defender Strange, I think, because Defender Strange has a thinner mustache and that kind of soul patch and then a thinner Bro, I forgot strand, that of course, was the even be in the movie. To his right is that same Defender Strange when he takes on his zombified form in that mountaintop battle with the demon arms splayed out behind him in the images of icon pose. To his right is Wanda, 
I think is loungewear Wanda with the blood streaming down her face from that Super Bowl trailer. And beneath her is a shard showing a cleaner face Wanda. Now on the left side of this poster, on either sides of Mortar Supreme, are again that broken watch face from the December trailer on the left, and then another form of Wanda on the right. Now a little detail about that watch that I have failed to mention, sorry. In the shots of the hatch opening to that utopian parallel looking location, Strange has strapped that broken watch on the knob of that hatch. Crazy. That watch was How given to him by Christine Palmer in the 2016 that, film and then broke when muggers attacked him. And then in the film's final shot, it served as a lasting symbol of Strange's unhealable wound of his broken hands, but his mastery of the mental and the mystical over the physical. Now it is being used practically as a kind of key to open back doors through dimensions. Maybe Strange himself set up this door as a failsafe in a worst case scenario when he would need to access that hidden item that he kept in this place. Or since variant Christine is right next to him there and she's the one who gave him the watch in an alternate timeline, it could be a failsafe that she set up. Above these is a shard showing the Illuminati panel, but unlike in the trailer, all the slots appeared to be filled with that one last figure walking up to their seat, maybe Mordo Supreme, as we <laughs> saw in the trailer. All of these filled, including Sorry. the empty space between the middle two chairs that we assume will be occupied by Charles Xavier's hover chair. Now to the right of this is Defender Strange again, the silver stripe more clearly visible. Let's move on to the IMAX poster, which overall has this really cool look with the Damn. broken pieces showing different faces of the variants of Strange and Wanda, Mordo, Wong, and America, but all arranged like daggers pointing inward at Strange's face, or maybe even the teeth of some supernatural being devouring him. Now among these variants is a riding face of Defender Strange, which is just looking more and more Sam Raimi Evil Dead with every new promo that comes out. One little unnerving detail in this poster that I love, notice how pretty much all of the eyes in these shards are looking directly at us. But when you reassemble the shard on the far right, which shows Wanda with her fiery red hair, and then the matching one on the far left of Wanda with the same hair color, one of her eyes looks at us while the other looks askew. This whole one eye on us, the other not effect is a freaky horror trick that Bill Skarsgård pulled off practically as Pennywise in It, and it casts Wanda as a similar potential horror villain. Fuck. It also reflects how this Wanda really has split forms. Hey man, I said it in the last video. Eyes on different you look prizes, like a horror movie helping villain. Strange, the other helping herself. Now the Dolby poster might be my favorite because it's really the simplest. Fewer visuals, really just the sound. The shadow. Baby. Strange investigates a sanctum window that's been blown open by some intrusive force with red tinted glow. But then on the floor behind him, that intruder is already in the house. The shadow of the Scarlet Witch creeping up on him. Now the real 3D poster plays up the variants in the symmetry visual themes. At the top is Strange with his variants fanning out from him on either sides like a Rolodex. On the right, it looks like Sinister Strange or some other version. And then on the left, Defender Strange. In a way, these two variants embody the classic trope of the angel versus the demon on either shoulder. From Strange's perspective, the angel, Defender Strange, on his right shoulder, associated with good, and then the demon, Sinister Strange, on his left shoulder, associated with evil. Beneath them are variants Dr. Christine Palmer and her echoes, Mordo Supreme and his echoes, and then Wong and his echoes, with the Scarlet Witch in the center, interestingly, a singular figure orchestrating all this madness, the one spinning the Rolodexes. And then at the bottom, America Chavez in a red-colored New York street as the tentacles of Garganto snake out after her, but then on the left, a Sanctum Sanctorum with some figure standing in front of it. Is it? <laughs> Manope is actually the statue of the clean-shaven Supreme Strange uh, that we saw in the earlier trailer, shape. whom I have always seen as suspicious because what living person erects a huge statue in their own honor other than someone who can't erect anything else? By the way, today's sponsor Damn. is... Damn. did that. Now, lastly, there is the Screen X poster, which also showcases all the main figures and their variants. You got Strange in the center with four variants, one on the left and then three on the right, the middle of those being the Defender Strange. And then below on the right is Gargantos, and then between him and Wanda is some red-lit ruins, maybe the twisted tree background behind Wanda and Strange when she drops the facade of her orchard pocket reality. And then to the left of Wanda is Kamartaj, and then Wong, and America, Dr. Christine Palmer, then Mordo Supreme. And then the upper left of Mordo, the Illuminati Deus once again, with Strange standing before it. Now, beside America is this pedestal that I spotted in my trailer breakdown of the ruins of, I think, America's Home Dimension, the Utopian Parallel. A pedestal that, in the trailer, showed a glowing blue item. Now, here, confirmed 
to be a book. Now I thought maybe in the dark hold, or it could be some other book used to counteract the dark hold, like the Book of Vishanti, which in the comics is used to counteract curses with only protective magic, which would be a pretty important item for Strange in America and Christine to seek out to undo the madness that Wanda and the dark hold have unleashed across the multiverse. Now that it's showing up both in the trailer and this poster so prominently, it tells us that this book, whatever it is, is going to be key to the movie's plot. All right, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing too crazy in the posters. Like, I was hoping for something, for them to spoil something, uh, and for it to be, like, real hard to find. But I don't know. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> Unless there is something and we just haven't found it yet. But, um, yeah, if you enjoyed my reaction, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all in the next one.